All right, hi, I'm Jesse with Not Like The Other Guys, and we're gonna go ahead and do some Book of Hours. So I'm gonna overwrite my save, and, oh, that's a big bell. Okay, so we're gonna start out, and you know, as you can see here, that'll pop up on the left, right? So what you're gonna wanna do is open that up. It'll be very useful in the future. So up here is your inventory, here's some different actions you can do, yada yada, right? But first of all, what we're gonna wanna do is open up this, right? Um, so you got these three things. So here's some important basics just to, that are like applicable to the entire of the game, the entirety. Uh, but I haven't played through the whole thing, so just I'm gonna do some basic tips. So here, right? What you're gonna want to do is whenever you want to insert a card into a slot and you're confused, just click on it, right? So there's a few things that will happen, right? So right here is some essential stuff, right? So this is what's accepted: memories, element of the soul, and soaked. And so what you'll notice is that there are a few different things here, right? And you can highlight them. And then it'll highlight different stuff. Like, for example, right here, highlight a memory. Oh, that lit up down there, right? Let me highlight it again. Boom. Boom. Right? It highlights it. So I can put memory in here. But it says, I can't get my thoughts straight. Perhaps there's something in the book. Okay. So here's another really important thing about Book of Hours. It will tell you, at least partially, what to do, right? It'll tell you what to do. And so what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna look into it and think, hmm, what can I do? There's a book. Let's look at anything similar to a book, right? This is a drowned book. Let's put it in. Also, a quick tip. Uh, if you have a window up like this, do, okay, so let's say I wanna do an action associated with this. Click it, right? Um, click on it. Oh, there's a few things I can insert. That's, that are highlighted, I can right click on stuff to get in there, right? But right click it again, it won't necessarily come out in the right place. Um, so, here we go. Right click the book. Perhaps this book can help me put the pieces together. What's left? Let's let's see here. The book's in bad shape and I'm not much better. Okay, so that doesn't work. Sometimes it's best to just like try different stuff out if you're in a bind. Um, but I usually try and do this intelligently, right? Just like be very careful about what I insert in there. So here's the memory aspect, right? That that was from earlier, right? Because you can see here, you click on it, there's elements of the soul and memory. You click, or like you hover over it, or go over to it, it highlights the memory, right? Because that's the memory aspect. This happens throughout the entire game. Okay, so let's start. Uh, quick, quick tip, you can do this up here to speed up the time, which is pretty obvious. I usually bind this to my left shift. Um, and you can also, instead of just like flipping over the cards, which I usually do because I like to look at stuff, um, you can just press C uh, by default. So what do I have left to work with? It accepts um, elements of the soul, right? Uh, but as you know, what I have left to work with, I, I you do the book salvage to start out. And then you click on here. Let's see what I want to salvage. Can't salvage health. I put that back. Oh, also handy tip. You can go ahead and click on the, these right here to organize your spaces, right? Let's see, I got this all willy-nilly, stuff like that. Stacked. Right again, right? It's nice. What's left, right? Let's get one of these three. I'll just do that. Four. Start with S. Oh, a cracking noise. Uh, okay, so that means that stuff is going away. Also, these pop-ups are annoying. It'll be annoying for the rest of the time for me. I don't know how to deal with the pop-ups right now. Uh, but we got more stuff, right? We got that stuff. And so, we salvage again. What's left? I'll go with stuff I don't usually do. Uh, let's start out with Wist. Boom. Alright. An old friend's address. So this is a winter... Introduction. So introduction is an important thing for the village later. I'll show you that later. Okay. So what we got is we got these two aspects. Oh, and we got another thing coming up. All right. Let's see here. Memory, fear. So memories are very important, right? They're used for a variety of things, which I'll show you in just a sec. So we have two actions here, right? You can consider stuff. All right. Five. Gotta dry it out. Okay. So, 
next, what you want to do, right, is you want to look at your stuff, right? Oh, you got a countdown here. But, uh, fun fact, when this thing counts down, uh, at least with the early version that the devs played, and nothing happens, um, this is a pretty forgiving game in specific respects. I don't know about you, like, if, I don't even know if you can die in this game, because um, I've never encountered that. Uh, you can die in Cult of Simulator, not this one. Okay, as far as I know. <laughs> But <laughs> maybe you can't. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so let's get on with it. So let's see here. There's some actions you can do. You can consider. You can only consider that. You can talk with with core, right? And a variety of other different stuff you can get with that first card draw that you did with the salvage for these soul cards. Soul cards are important. And these are soul cards. Elements of the soul. Let's see what goes there. Fisherman's assistance. Okay, let's look at this guy. So what does the fisherman got going on? He's got the moon, the sky, skeptical, right? Assistance and reluctant. Okay. But only essential help. Okay, let's take a look. Come no closer. What's that business? Okay. Do we gotta stay our business? Remember, this text on the side is is very helpful in terms of determining stuff like intuitively, right? Okay, what's our business? Only thing accepted is an old friend's address, right? Because when we click that, that, that's highlighted. Okay, we start. Boom, 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 right? I take you by the cliffs then. No longer skeptical, he'll help us out. All right, so next we're gonna deal with a few, a few of these basic things that are present, right? So in order to unlock these things, what you need is assistance, right? It has to be an assistance category, and it has to be, it, it doesn't take skeptical, right? But it has to be sky. Let's see what this guy has, right? He has sky, moon, assistance, and reluctant, but not skeptical. So he'll help us, right? On, on the other hand, right? Let's look over here. They need two moon and two winter. And this guy does not have two moon and two winter, right? Let's see here. And we don't have moon or winter and memories. Memories are important. I'll show you that later. Like, here, let me show you something. So, right? Um, it doesn't accept, like, memories. Sorry. It doesn't take, accept memories right now, but it will later for an important purpose, which I'll show you. Okay, so let's go to the unlock, right? Take the guidance. Unlock. This is the village proper. I think that's what you call it. And let's, and remember... When you're trying to get somewhere, think about like stuff like especially early game. Read the text. Mister kills a coffin maker in a bankrupt village. I once wrote kindly of his poetry. His home is always open to me, though he's asked never to mention poetry in front of Miss Kyle. I can find shelter tonight under the roof once I've reached bankrupt village. Okay, so we reached the village. What's this? That's Mister and Miss Kill. That's the place. This isn't it. This isn't it. Right. But we're gonna want to do. See here. Right? What does it not accept? An old friend's address, an old friend's address. This is a different old friend's address. This one actually works. Since it expect, ex like, does soak stuff. But it also has to be an element of the soul. So let's get in there. Okay. And boom. Okay, so this is a memory, right? Here's a, I think I might waste it, memory real quick. Let's let's take a look at it. So that's two chalice, one heart. What does this need? Okay, so this needs forge and lantern and sky. Forge, lantern, or sky to get across. And I need help, right? I need assistance, right? That's what's required. It has to be assistance type. So assistance you can get from NPCs, right? But first, let's take a look here. So it has to be an element of the soul be grail or winter let's so that's wist right so this is wist it gives you lantern winter yeah right so let's take a look see what topics can we do oh look look what it accepts right it accepts soaked and guess what this guy is soaked let's take that boom okay we got a feathered book and each time you do actions with soul cards, at least as far as I know, you fatigue them, right? And a lot of different stuff cannot be accepted 
a lot of these cannot be accepted when they're fatigued, right? Because look, you can't accept it when it's fatigued or malady, right? And these are fatigued, right? You see this aspect right here? It's important to look at these aspects and make sure they match up when you're in doubt, right? Eventually, it'll all just become reflexes, ideally. So, okay, that's gone. I hate these pop-ups. Okay, so let's look at what we need. We need repairs, right? Okay. So let's look around the village. The front steps, they, they, it has to be an introduction. Do we have any introduction cards? Let's highlight it. No. Nowhere, right? Okay, so we can't get through there. So, do we need an introduction over here? No, we don't need introduction. What do we need? Readable, journal, and doesn't accept soaked, right? It does not accept soaked. It does not accept soaked, but a journal. Oh, it has to be a journal. And let's see what aspects this has. It's the journal, right? It's readable. So we can insert it in here. All right. So let's take a look. Put this in here and start it. Boom. And this is like fun text to read, right? Postmistress regards me with the chilly gaze of a goddess image in an ancient hill shrine. The librarian says she, yes, I have something for you. Wait here, please. Boom. What do we got? We got a 10 shilling note, right? So this is a currency aspect, right? It'll show you how much currency each thing is worth. And if you're not familiar with pence and stuff like that, uh, and, and, and the currency of, of uh, yeah, it's just not, it's not a fun currency. Okay, so we got a letter, right? So let's take a look at the aspects, readable and correspondence. I can reply to this from our writing desk. Okay, take a look. Okay, so what do we want to do next? So it's kind of nice to like look around your inventory, see what you got. Okay, so guy. Okay, also here's a cool thing too, right? You can look, you can look at like different stuff you can, let's see here. You can look at different stuff you can consider, right? Okay, so you can consider this, okay. The books are tasted. Okay. Studying requires effort. You always need a suitable soul card first. So we can't use our health, which is a soul card. But you'll be able to later uh, for certain stuff, which I'll show you in a later tutorial. So let's see what we can consider, though, okay? Letter to the librarian. This is for me. Read a letter to reply instead. Add ink at a desk. Okay. See? That's useful. You're supposed to add ink at a desk. Finish reading. Okay, so this is where like specific text stuff comes up. Just hover over it, right? St. Ronan's Trust wishes to congratulate me on my appointment at the library at Hush House, yada yada yada. It reminds me that its resources are limited and suggests I seek local assistance in restoring the premises. Let us know when you're all set up and ready to receive visitors. The letter concludes. It's signed simply the trustees. So, right here, right? It tells you what to do, right? It's telling you you need assistance, right? Assistance in restoring the premises. The game is telling you what to do, just as long as you read carefully, right? Okay, so let's see here. Can we consider anything else? We already read this, right? Read the letter or reply instead at ink to this, right? So we already considered that. Let's see where else we can go, right? Post office, we already went there. We don't have anything for here in terms of introductions. We don't have any introductions for here, okay. Or do we, right? We don't have any introductions. So let's go over to here, right? So what do we need? We don't need introductions, but it accepts assistance, hence, metal, or or shaft. Shaft. So what we have is pence, and as of now we don't have assistance, right? So let's try pence. Okay, so let's start. The hostile faces turns into this. Bought around for everyone, and another, and one more for luck, and thus I was accounted for not so bad for a foreigner. I'll find a warmer welcome here next time. Okay, cool. So, me. Okay, let's see. That has to be an element of the soul. This has to be soaked or pence. Okay. Do we have any soaked stuff? No. But we do have pence. So let's see here. What does that do? Miner's awful scare, scale, forge, and element. So we can get assistance, right? And assistance is essential for unlocking stuff. And that's here, right? We need forge, moon, or scale. For here. Or sorry, forge, lantern, or sky. And we have forge, right? With this guy. So we get the forge, right? So it's assistance. It's forge. So it's accepted, right? 
And this is assistance. Forge. Put it in. Unlock. Okay. So while that's cooking, right? Here's another thing I wanted to show you. So we go over here, right? Element of the soul, not a malady. What do we have that's element of soul, not a malady? Health, right? Heart. There's not much room to offer in brain courage, but I can offer six tenth the worst worth of odd jobs. Okay. Those two are cooking, right? Cook it, cook it, cook it, cook it, cook it, cook it. Right. Boom. Okay. That's unlocked. Now let's see what this needs. This needs two forge, art, or unlock, or not, knock, right? In terms of the aspects. And we also need assistance. So we need to find an assistant that has some of these aspects. Okay. So chalice. We, we have grail, heart, right? So we have these few memories. So what we can do is, here's memories, right? Six pence is what we got. But also, we can buy the guy again. Right? Use use a denomination that's above a shilling, which is 12, or a shilling. So like, so like, like for example, right? You got a shilling? Boom. That's enough. Okay. We got the miner's assistance. Collect. So, here's an important mechanic. It's called memories, right? So, what you can do is you can collaborate, right? Collaborate. So, that's... You, t you collaborate by talking to an assistant right not consider but talk so let's look here right lodge at the gate exploring the house a cottage where hush house's groundskeeper lived until the fire if i can get into the place and make it habitable i can use it as a base for reclaiming more of the house okay so we need two forge one heart so this guy's already got, got a forge but we need two right so we need heart or knock okay so each of these gives us a little bit of heart and this gives us two heart and none of these give us knock. So what we're going to do is we're going to do memory satisfaction, right? What we're going to do is bring up talk, minor assistance. That's to this brings up the collaborate window. So let's you go here, click it. It highlights a few different things, right? Memory fear, memory satisfaction, and memory solace. So what this will do is that these aspects in the memory will transfer to the minor, right? So important thing to note, you can only transfer a memory, any memory at all, to like the given assistant once a day. Okay, so see, now the miner has two grail, one heart, one moon, two scale, exalted memory, right? Sharing a memory has improved this assistant's abilities for the day. And an introduction. So let's go ahead and we accept them. But first we have to make sure to collect your stuff first, always. Okay, then, and I don't know about always. Cult of Simulator, there's a few advantages to like not collecting certain stuff, but here it's different, right? Okay, so exploring the house, minor assistance. Okay, that's cooking. So, I usually recommend speeding stuff up. Can we get a different guy? Okay, we got another miner. Well, that's cooking. So, let's see here. Here's an important thing for early game, right? So, what you need is a correspondent, or sorry, an introduction from an introduction. And this guy also serves as an introduction, right? So, we need sky, lantern, or knock. What does this guy have? None of these, okay? We we need an introduction here as well. Let's see here. We need forge, edge, or heart. Guess what this guy has? Forge, right? So what we're gonna do, click this guy in here, start it. We get another memory. That gives us two forge. So we could have used this earlier to boost the guy's forge to get across the bridge. Memories, super useful, right? Okay, so, let's see here. We have Denzel Strongest. Oh, blackened by smoke, he will never surpass his father and he's still no longer a soldier, but he still has his craft. Okay, so what we need to insert in here is an element of the soul. Unfortunately, we're all fatigued for now, but we're gonna keep going, right? But we got the Smith available now. 
64. Alright. So, this is where we're going to start our next tutorial. At the Bruce House. Alright. Hope you enjoyed. Jesse out.